Hello everyone and welcome to a video on Next.js and static site generation. Today is going to be a brief introduction into how to do some simple static site generation. We'll be building a blog using Next.js and some React Markdown. So the first question might be why would I use static site generation with Next.js? And there's a few examples of why and it's that you can choose per page how to render your content which is the most powerful feature, in my opinion, of, of Next.js. So you can choose per page if I want to statically render, server-side render, or just send all of my content and have no pre-rendering happen on the server. You can choose per page how to render, which is powerful. So let's jump into some code and show you how it works. Here we have my index page inside of my Next.js application. And you can see I have two sets of imports here one that I'll be using on the front end, and these set of imports here that you can see I'm using a get static props. So ignoring all of this, we can look, here's my function, get static props. If I export this function from a page component, which is a, any component under the pages directory, I can actually call node.js functions inside of this function. So I'm gonna read a directory, which is gonna contain my posts, which is a set of JSON file or markdown files rather with some front matter. I can then create a list of posts from that file, get some details using a front matter, node front matter parser, and then return that as a set of posts to my front end. The best part about this is because of static props, this actually gets called and executed at build time. So when I'm set to build this application, this function runs. So if I have a ton of posts, it's not going to affect the end performance of users accessing the site. And then I can just go ahead and in here, access those posts through my props and output a list of posts. Let's take a look what it looks like on the front end. So here we go. Here's my next JS static site generated blog. I have two posts in here, my first post and why Next.js is the framework to use. And both of these are rendered through static site generation. Each of them has a corresponding file that has the title the date it was published, and this description. And we can use static site generation to build this out uh, at build time. Now there's another function we can use called get static paths. And this is allowing us to render each individual page if we have many posts statically as well. So I'm doing the similar thing here. I'm reading in all those posts from that directory just to get their names. I'm letting Next.js know that these are the paths that I need to pre-render. In that pre-render, I'm getting static properties, which are just getting me the content and the front matter of that post. Very simply then, in my component, I'm going through and putting some, my attributes for the title in there, I'm putting the publish date, and I'm rendering markdown as the body. And then another amazing thing about Next.js is I'm including here some node modules that can't run on the front end. For example, the file system, util, path, those modules won't be able to run on the front end. But they get removed at build time as well because they're only used in get static props and get static paths, which makes us have one page running pre-rendering of static site generation, as well as our React components that run on the front end. Really briefly, just want to show you the file system. I have my post directory that I'm reading in, and here are my first post and second post and these are used as the URLs of the blog posts. So you can take a look here. If I go on to, let's say the first one and I click on it, it's gonna go into my first post, which is the name of the file, and it's gonna render out the content that I have in that file. Publish date, title, as well as the content. You can check over here, my first post, Markdown, and it's in Markdown, and it has some front matter, and it's auto-generated here at build time. So when I'm accessing it, this is just a static file. There we are, that's a brief introduction to Next.js and how to do static rendering. You can find all this content on GitHub and I'll post the link below. Thanks for watching.